Hello stampers and welcome. I'm Susan Malloy of Silver Lady Stamping and I'm also an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. Today I'm going to show you how to make this shimmery dragonfly card using the dragonfly garden stamp set and coordinating punch. And here's the, this is the punch. The, what's going to make this card so easy to put together, first of all, is the that I use the hand pen memories and more um, cards and envelopes. And you get, um, and here is the card base. So you get 20 cards and envelopes, and these are already pre-printed and, so and pre-scored, and all you have to do is fold it in half, and then you also get 20 coordinating um, envelopes with the envelope flap already pre-printed with a really nice pattern on it that is from the hand-penned um, DSP. So it comes with that. Um, and this this is what is going to make it come together really quickly and it's going to be such a pretty base um, and for this uh, hand pen memories and more cards and envelopes it's the 20 cards it's just ten dollars um, you can't beat that and the cards are a little bit larger um, than the standard cards that we make which are you know five and a half by um, eight and a half and then scored at four and a quarter. Um, these cards are uh, six and a half by four and a half um, when it's folded up. So they're a little bit larger now. If you, and the envelopes, you know, are, are larger to fit the card. So it fits it, it perfectly well. If you wanted to make it into a smaller card, you can certainly do that into a regular um, size card or even a, a note card. And um, then you can put it into a smaller envelope. So you get 20 uh, six and a quarter by four and a quarter cards with coordinating envelopes for just $10. I mean, this is like such a bargain. So I actually grabbed a pack for myself. Um, and then there's another pack of memories and more, and it's almost like memories and more, uh, or the, the hand pen memories and more plus, because along with it, you get, um, you get like a sticker sheet, and that's also $10. But the cards in it are a little bit smaller. I think they're more note card size, if I'm not mistaken. So you will also get 20 cards and envelopes for $10, but they will, and the sticker sheets, but it'll be smaller cards versus the $10 for 20 uh, cards and, and envelopes um, for, for this set because these are larger. So this is the stamp set, which I absolutely love because I, I like, I love dragonflies in my, just, I love to see dragonflies in my garden and, and it's just so pretty. So let me set that aside for a second and just talk about the shimmer on the, I love adding shimmer to my, to my cards whenever I can. And you can see, definitely see the shimmer on the dragonflies, right? And the way I achieve that is with the um, Ombre Specialty Designer Series paper. And these are just three of the sheets. Um, there's actually one more. So the paper, you get four, 12 by 12 sheets of this um, ombre uh, designer series paper. So it goes each sheet, I, I don't know if you can see it um, on the camera, uh, maybe you can. It goes from light to dark. So this, the colors that you get are uh, Night of Navy, uh, Gorgeous Grape, Bumblebee, and then the one that I don't have in front of me is uh, Poppy Parade, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so, so pretty and so shimmery. Um, and what I found is that when you, um, and then you can even see the, you know, I stamped on the glimmer paper, on the ombre paper, um, using the coordinating uh, colors. So gorgeous, great. 
uh, Knight of Navy and Bumblebee. And actually, the um, you know, I did it on the lighter part of the paper. And then you just punch it out with, uh, with a coordinating punch. Super easy to come together. So let me show you some of the materials that you're going to need to put this card together. So I'll just set this off to the side. So the ink that we're going to use, we're going to use some Blackberry Bliss, which is really just going to be for the sentiment. Uh, we're going to use um, Bumblebee, uh, Knight of Navy, and Gorgeous Grape. And as I said, we're going to use for the ombre paper, the uh, Knight of Navy, the Gorgeous Grape, and the Bumblebee. But hey, if you wanted to use the Poppy Parade, you can change up your colors. These are just the ones that I used. Then we're also going to need um, a piece of um, the hand-penned DSP cut at um, five and a quarter, let's see if you can see, five and a quarter by three and three quarters. And you'll also need a piece of um, basic white um, because that's going to be the layer that we're going to have the dragonflies uh, adhere to. And that's going to be cut at five and a quarter by three. And We'll also use some um, of the in color, uh, the in color jewels, 2021 to 2023 in color jewels, um, which are in um, polished pink, pale papaya, evening evergreen, fresh freesia, and soft succulent. Uh, let's see, we'll use some, I'm going to use some uh, liquid glue. But you can certainly use a uh, stamp and seal if that's your preferred adhesive. And we'll use some, um, well, you can't really see it, some dimensionals right? because we're going to pop up our, um, our dragonflies. Okay, let's see. I think I have everything. So what we'll do is, I'll, so I have, so you grab your card base and you just, that you get in the kit or your own paper and just fold it in half. Okay. I'll set the envelope aside. And then what we're going to do, just for reference, so we're going to cut our DSP and then we will cut our uh, piece of white. So for the DSP, let me bring that in. I'll bring in my paper trimmer. And the DSP is going to be cut at five and a quarter. Oop, make sure I'm getting this right. Five and a quarter. Let me pull this down. Five and a quarter by three and three quarters. So it's going to be uh, quite a bit skinnier than the than the base. So we're gonna, as you can see, because what we're going to do is we're going to set it kind of catty corner when we adhere it to the card. We're not going to put it straight. Eh, just for something of visual interest. And then what for this one, we're going to cut this piece at also five and a quarter because the top and the bottom are going to be the same length. Five and a quarter by three. Okay. That's all the cutting we're going to do. So now we have our, our pieces, right? So what I want to do next is to take our Blackberry Bliss. Let me set aside my DSP. Take our Blackberry Bliss, and we're going to use the sentiment, um, make good things grow all year long. Okay, let me open my stamp set. And I'm going to stamp that right at the bottom on the right. We could put the sentiment on first and that way I'll know where to um, adhere my dragonflies. Okay, give that a good press and let it kind of sink into the cardstock. Okay. And then I also want to just clean my stamp. It's always important to 
just set this aside to clean their stamps. And for anybody that doesn't know about how these work there, I mean, it looks so gross, right? It looks so dirty, but it does not reapply. The ink comes off, but it does not get reapplied onto the stamp. So it just, I'm not sure how exactly it works, but um, they're great. Okay, so I'll set that one aside. We don't need we don't need the Blackberry Bliss anymore. We're done with that ink pad. Okay, and so now what we'll do is we will go ahead and adhere the this layer right to the card. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and use some liquid glue. And I'm just going to line line up the top and the bottom because they're going to be the same length. Let me flip it over and give it a little back rub. Just in case I have any ink or adhesive on my fingers, sometimes when you go to rub it and then all of a sudden you realize you had ink on your hands because we are stampers and we do have ink, right? We all have inky fingers. All right, so there's that piece. And then I think we can go ahead <clears throat> and we can go ahead and, and adhere this layer right to the card base. So see the other side of the um, <clears throat> the DSP is pretty too. Sometimes it's hard to pick which side you want to use because they're both, both sides are so nice that you're like, I don't, I don't know, it's hard to choose and you hate to give it up. So now what you'll do is you'll adhere like the left corner and you'll adhere and make it catty corner so that you adhere the right corner up here. So that's, that's as much of a catty corner as we're gonna use. So it's not, it's not a huge tilt. Probably could have made it go up a little bit more, but I think what I'll do is I'll put my dragonfly up a little bit so it's not so noticeable with the gap. All right, so there's that piece. And we can set that aside, and now what we can do is begin um, stamping and uh, punching out our dragonflies. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, why don't we just go in and start with Knight of Navy. I have my dragonfly right here. And like I said, we're going to stamp it on the lighter end just so that we have, because you can do it on the darker side and you will, you will see it, but it's just easier to see it on the light side. So we'll just stamp that down. I know the light is a little bit glaring. There you go. So as you can see, you can see it. And actually, before I do anything else, I clean my stamp. So we're, gonna, we're going to reuse the same stamp in the other two colors. So you don't want to dip your stamp into another color before you clean it. Okay, so let's, all right. And we will oops, turn it over because that's the way we're gonna cut it. And we're going to line it up And I'm going to line this up as best I can because I don't want to put my head in the camera. And what I do is I press it down a little bit just to hold when I find that I'm holding, just to hold it in place to make sure I have it where I want it. And oh dear, sorry about that. <laughs> Sometimes the punches are a little bit hard to punch. 
So then what you get also, in addition to the image, which came out so pretty, you get a little tiny one because obviously it cuts out a tiny one. So we're not going to use that today, but you can set it aside for another project. But look how nice that came out, right? It has a nice detail to it. I love it. I wasn't sure if it was going to, um, if I was gonna be able to stamp on it um, and have it come out, but it, it actually came out really nice. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. So I'll set that aside and we'll do the next one. And why don't we go, we'll do um, Gorgeous Grape. on there I think we did oh that's a nice image I'm pretty happy with that one okay now let's see if we can cut it or if I can cut it without like making it jump across the room I'm just going to hold it down a little and, but, and then I can yeah I'm pretty happy with that all right let's see if we can do this oh, that's better okay yeah that one came out with a really nice image too all right let's do and then clean the stamp because we're going to go into the bumblebee uh, ink pad Clean it. And now we'll bring in the bumblebee ombre paper and the bumblebee stamp pad. This card is going to come together really quickly. You're going to love that. It's going to have a real wow factor with the with the sparkle and but then it's not going to take all that much time okay this one is probably going to end up being a little bit lighter but you're still going to be able to see it there now um you can kind of see the image now you can actually see it better um oh there you go you see see the image there it does come out it is light but when you see it, um, you know, in person, you're, you're going to see it pretty clearly. Let me set aside my ink pad. And we'll stamp this one out. Okay, let's see if I can... Uh, it's a little... Oop, I'm doing it in the wrong one. Okay, line it up as best you can. All right, you just kind of hold it in place, make sure that it's where you want it to be. Oh, I think it moved, so let's just do it again. All right, I think I got it. All right, take the little bitty piece, put it aside for another project. These aside. Oh yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see, you can see there's there's actually some nice detail to it. I love the shimmer. So all right, let's bring the card back in. And the way we're going to start this to assemble it is, um, oop. No, but I did get a little ink down here with my inky fingers. Figures, right? It's never easy doing this and keeping your inky fingers off the paper. So I'm 
using this mono sand and rubber eraser by Tombow. Um, you can take a look at it. Uh, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it, but it's for ink and pencil, and Tombow makes it. And I had seen um, a couple of demonstrators using it, and it's, it actually is pretty awesome. So it will get some of the ink off that you uh, smudge onto your onto your paper. So that's where that's what I'm that's what I'm using. Okay. So now we're gonna just gonna adhere some uh, dimensionals, and I'm just going to use um, two dimensionals, one on either wing, and I'm gonna start with my uh, bumblebee. And I'm going to adhere it so that it's a little bit off the paper. Oop, it might help if I took the backing off, right? There we go. There we go. Okay. And I uh, next one up, I'm gonna do the Knight of Navy. I'll do this one up a little higher. The other one, the other one I did, I kind of crossed wings, but I don't think I'm going to do that for this one because I want to put another one up there. Okay, and then for my last one is the gorgeous grape. So this one I'm putting up a little bit higher because I did have a little bit extra room at the top. All right, now I, what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of, um, oops, sorry, drop my card right on my project. Clean up my space a little bit while I'm working. So what I'm going to do for my, again, these are the in color jewels and I thought they'd work really well with this, with this card. So with the bumblebee, I'm actually going to use uh, the pale papaya and I'm going to use a small one and a large one. And I'll put a small one and a little bit larger one. Ooh. And put them together. And I am going to use, actually, for the Gorgeous Grape, I'm then going to match it up with a Fresh Freesia. And I'm going to put that up here. Use a small one and a little bit larger one. And there is, for the in colors, there's no blue. Um, so what I'm going to do is use the, um, let's see, should I use a soft? No, I'm going to use the Evening Evergreen because I know it's darker and um, I do like that. So I think I'm actually, there's kind of a lot of white space there, isn't there? So I think I'm going to do them right in there. There we go. Wow, huh? That's kind of nice, right? Right? So the other one that I did, see, it just had um, the, I had the wings uh, kind of covering over. And I did a little bit different uh, gem placement, but still, I just love the way that it, that it gives it that shimmer, which is what I happen to like. I love having a little bit of, uh, of shimmer. So um, for the inside, I cut, um, I cut a little, oh, I got a little, another, there we go. I'm liking this little sanding scrubber. I cut a piece of the DSP, or I happen to have it as a scrap, and I'm just going to put it on the inside. I'm not going to put another layer on the inside. It's, it's pretty durable cardstock, and I don't think that there's a need to add another layer. So I'm just, I'm just going to take this extra strip, um, sorry 
extra strip of DSP and put it on the inside. Right in the corner. And this particular DSP, so it's going in the right direction. Ah, you know, I mean, you wanna, if you're gonna put your strips in there, it wouldn't matter if it was going in the other direction, um, but I just thought it would be it would look nicer if it was. All right, so now for the inside sentiment, I'm just going to say for a true friend. And I'm going to use, oh, I think I will bring in my Blackberry Bliss again and use the same ink for the sentiments on both sentiments. There we go. Close this up. Clean your stamp is my upline France Martin always says washy washy. And that is the card. So now you have, you know, the inside is decorated as well as the outside. Isn't that great? I, I, I just love it, and I like the fact that it's uh, that Stampin' Up! makes it so easy when you can buy the Memories and More card bases and uh, and envelopes, and you've already you're already halfway there, and all you have to do is add some designer series paper. Um, I mean, actually, you could even just stamp the uh, dragonflies with. Uh, the coordinating ink, so you can just just you know just uh, just stamp them right into the into the ink, and then uh, stamp them directly onto some white cardstock, and then punch them out from the white cardstock, or you can do it directly onto the card and not even punch them out at all. I think it has a world of possibilities, and then you could even add a little bit of Wink of Stella. I wanted a little bit more shimmer, and so I thought the ombre. Uh, specialty designer paper was going to be perfect for what I wanted to achieve. And so I'm glad that you could join me today. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you subscribe to my channel and then click on the little bell so that um, you can be notified whenever I upload new content. So thank you again for joining me today and thank you for watching.